Hi guys and welcome back to Chips Green World. In this week's vlog we're going to be underplanting the big box ball in the centre of the garden. Then we'll fast forward 10 days and show you a little tour of the garden, see what's going on. Hi and welcome back to Chips Green World. I'm Chip, this is the courtyard, that's good. Flower, that's Gypsy Ball. The work, the jobs. Join us on our adventures. Let's get to work. Right guys, let's jump straight in. Under planting the center box ball. I've got three double pinks, three double whites, and these will be planted around intervals around the center pot. I did originally have trailing ivy cascading down from the center pot, but uh, it was interfering with the rosemary that used to wrap itself around the bottom of the pot, so I took that out. But now I've lost the rosemary, time to underplant again, and I'm gonna give these a go. So you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm just making a little hole in my hands, popping the plant in, and then backfilling. Simple. And if you're wondering why I've got these gaps at equal distances around the box, it's because this is three box hedges planted together to create one giant box. A cheaper way of doing things. Bit of a cheat, but very cost effective, as these three box only cost me 120. A box ball this size would be nearly 600. So save yourself some money. This has been potted up now for going on four years and looking more globe shaped every year. So I'm very pleased with it. Right, back to planting for the last two and then we'll do a little fast forward 10 days and give you a tour of the garden so you can see what's going on. Take it out, pop it in. Now we're on to the south side of the pot and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how this does because these are in full sun and the ones at the back are in full shade. Right, all done. Now let's give them a good water in, splash a bit of greenery, one of my favourite things. And we'll have to keep these watered every other day until they settle in. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do, it's completely free to subscribe. And by liking and subscribing, it helps YouTube then show the videos to people with the same interest as you. So you'll be helping the channel to grow. Right, that's the watering done. Now let's skip ahead 10 days and let's go on a tour of the garden. Looking so much greener. The irises are all coming up. I think we've got a few out. The double white I planted on the north side is doing extremely well. There's a couple of my irises. Oh, aren't they beautiful? The aquilegia are looking absolutely gorgeous, popping up all over the place. I think they're one of my favourite spring flowers. Then we've got the purple, the blue and the cream irises all ready to bloom. And now is a good time to focus in on where your gaps are, so I can work out what I need to add, what maybe needs to be moved. Like there, there's a big gap just there, look. So I can feel a trip to the garden centre on the cards. We'll get all these gaps filled, hopefully in the next week or so. Right, let's carry on around the garden and show you what's happening. The aqua legion has taken over the whole garden, as well as the poppies. The roses just starting to bloom on the arch, looking absolutely gorgeous. And my cerise trumpets are just starting to bloom. I'm not sure what to call this one. Maybe you could tell me down below. The California lilac is looking stunning. And there's our first double pink from around the center that we planted, taking a bit longer to settle in these ones. And the aubergine colored aquilegia over by the little potting shed looks beautiful against the poppies. The ivy under the trees is looking good enough to dive into. Look at this colour combination here. Isn't that beautiful? And here's a little bee just enjoying the day. Now let's go over to the pond as the first iris is blooming. I planted this two years ago and this is the first bloom. The geranium is filled in completely and it's putting out its first blooms. 
looking gorgeous. Now back over by the fruit orchard and last but no means least, the clevitus. I planted this two and a half years ago. Let's back up and have a proper look at this. It's completely filled the whole roof of the potting shed. Unbelievable. Just fabulous. Gorgeous. So there you go. That's it for this week's vlog. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you'll join me next week. Like, subscribe. Have a great week guys. Bye now.